for you, honey. Oh, Ed Lilies, my favorite. How sweet. I know. Sometimes I even made myself. What is the occasion? Just sorry for the last few months. Not exactly sure what's going on with you. And I haven't been very helpful with you and the job. And why is the wall being painted? Oh, Ed, you know how I used to say you always dreamed of having two women in the house? Well, what if I were the younger of the two? <laughs> I, I don't catch your drift. Ed, I want something more than I've ever wanted anything before. I want to bring Mrs. Threadgood into our home. I want her to live here. I want to give her the home and the love that she's always given to me. You're kidding. I'm absolutely serious. That's why I was painting the wall, to make it nice. Evelyn, this is something you just don't do. She's a 90-year-old woman. What happens if she gets sick? I'll take care of her. I just can't leave her in that home. She's not a straight cat or something. She's not even family. She's family to me. Please, Ed, do this for me. This is absolutely out of the question. Have you told her about this hair brain idea of yours? Not yet. Good. Now let's pretend this never even came up. I'm earning money now. I'll take care of everything and you won't have to do it. I said thing. it's not going to happen. So just forget it. Don't ever say never to me. Don't talk to me like I'm some kind of pet that follows wherever you point. Ed Couch, just because you're stuck in a rut doesn't mean I'm gonna stay there with you. Someone held up a mirror to my face and I didn't like what I saw one bit, so you know what I did? I changed. And you better too, because that someone was Mrs. Threadgood and she needs my love and care now more than ever. And I'm going to give it to her. With or without you. <laughs> 